Hello Collective! Welcome to Majestic Notion. Welcome back. We're doing a collective reading today. Let's see what comes out. Um, this is going to be kind of deep, maybe about your journey here. Okay? Who you are, where you're at at this time, spiritually, emotionally, in your life, your purpose. Okay? So we're going to see here, hopefully a lot of you will resonate. If you don't, that's okay. Take it as a form of entertainment. These aren't personal, so you know. These are general. Whoever doesn't resonate, just remember that it can resonate for someone else here. Please hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And... Thank you for being here to all of my subscribers. Alright, this is a surprise for me. I don't know what's going to entail today, but I mean, the spirit kind of just guide me here. Okay? So we're going to see what's going on. Alright, let's begin. Thank you guys so much for your beautiful, wonderful comments as well. All your love and support always. Thank you for donating to the channel. It is very much appreciated. And um, let's do the damn thing. Alright. Ooh, divine sensuality. Making love erotica. Number 22. That could be someone's age or master number. But it can also speak of duality. Divine sensuality. So there's... You're definitely in that energy of attracting um, that sensual energy. You know, you're, you're exuding a lot of sultriness, I want to say. You're exuding sensuality, passion, whether you're male or female. This is a very attractive <laughs> quality. So this is like bees on honey. Okay, this is like whether you're male or female there's a magnetism right now to you you can also if you if you have a divine counterpart that you know of you or that you dream of and you know you have a connection to someone you could also be attracting that energy or feeling their energy okay someone could be looking at you in this way finding you quite enticing at this time Adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Beautiful. Okay, number 27. That could be somebody's age here. This is adding up to 9. So you're going with the flow here, whether you're divine feminine, divine masculine energy, with divine sensuality. So when I see that, I'm not just seeing sensuality, I'm seeing divine sensuality. So, for those of you who have been doing a lot of self-work, self-healing, understanding your worth, your beauty, you are, you are really going with the flow and you're allowing spirit to guide you to where it is you need to go. This is a beautiful energy because um, you're not in any kind of ego, you're not in any kind of resentment or pride. You're just allowing yourself to flow. Like a river, like a river. That's what I'm hearing. So that's beautiful. Ooh, Atlantis. Rapid development, excellence, and success. A lot of you could resonate with Atlantis. Number 19, adding up to 10. Yes. So whatever you're letting go of, it could be your counterpart at this time. Okay, because you know we are at a solo uh, on a solo journey as well. Um, because there are things happening there. So, what this is going to do for you is take you into even more wisdom, more development, self development, more growth. Okay, and it says a rapid development. Some of you are going to start to see things coming into your life with excellence and success. Like, it's your time to shine here. It's your time to experience prosperity and abundance in your life. Even if you're single at this time or you're leaving someone behind, you know, 
however that is working out, whoever it is you're leaving behind, it could be a, a group of people, it could be family members, it could be a town, a specific career, okay? Whatever that is for you, you're allowing spirit to pretty much guide you into this success, into this rapid development, like there's more evolution here for you. There's more to see, more to experience. So this is beautiful. I'm loving this. And you're in such a beautiful energy. Very calm, cool, collected energy. Okay. So let's take a look at the bottom here first. Yeah. Spirit is moving you away from this. This is why. Experiments. Manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance against the master master number 33 so this is why you're allowing yourself to be guided you know that somebody here was manipulating your energy could have been your divine counterpart with others it could have been other people whoever this are family friend foe co-workers and this is why spirit is taking you away from this okay clearly there's a lot of darkness wherever those people were okay or a specific person and they did some unjust things um, to force some sort of change upon you or make you go a certain way or direction and it's out of arrogance pursuing some sort of knowledge that is of the shadow here and they were experimenting it's like they saw you as the guinea pig they experiment for manip like energy manipulation spell work all kinds of stuff and that's just very unfair here so you are drifting you are adrift drifting away from this energy because you are a master and you are here to learn is what I'm seeing so that's why you are developing more and more each time you know every time you kind of drift into something where you're into a an experience let's say whether it's a group of people a new experience something that is teaching you something and it gets to some like this point like you don't stay stuck there you take the lesson and you keep on moving or you allow spirit to keep you moving here i feel like spirit wants to guide you somewhere but safely so if they see danger around you they will take you out of that situation and the good thing is there is no resistance in your energy. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what else here. We have the winged messenger. Creation, spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. There you go. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. So you're also discovering your your gifts what you're good at whether it's at art music building things whatever is creative poetry you know whatever is creative to you music you know all of that you are allowing yourself to be inspired and I feel like a lot of you are becoming entrepreneurs or looking towards that avenue looking towards what you're good at even if it's not entrepreneurship like maybe going to school for the arts or taking new singing classes or playing a new instrument or taking up dance classes whatever feels creative to you okay you're allowing this this energy is also as you build that knowledge and you're ascending in your spiritual journey because you're on a spiritual path here there's a lot to take in as you you know go along so you're like an open canvas and you're co-creating with the power of the universe and spirit beautiful so it definitely success and excellence here is yours as long as there's no resistance here which I don't see here and you allow that flow beautiful uh, number three which is the energy of you know attracting what it is you truly desire because you're in the energy of attracting that specifically you're in a very good energy to manifest good things into your life at this time some of you are an oracle okay the oracle forecast I am the oracle my intuitive insights 
flow freely. Number 19, adding up to 10. We have 10, 10, so you've had the rite of passage. We have 19 twice, okay, which is 20, the energy of judgment. So you've been through um, some initiations here already. You, you're flowing with spirit. You've been through some really, like, big hurdles here energetically I feel here some of you went through some like a moment of a lot of spiritual warfare okay a lot of projection onto you a lot of people misjudging you um, you went through a lot of um, disappointments within friends family foes you know co-workers people you you actually respected or people you you know you could have seen in a in a good light and turned out to be backstabbers okay so I see you really like going far far away from that okay now that doesn't mean you will stumble you won't stumble upon this type of energy again it'll be in a different sense but right now I, I feel like the flow is right and spirit knows what to like look out for okay that's what I'm getting here yeah the star daughters dance I dance sing and play with my sisters at sunset number 32 adding up to five major changes here I feel like you're one with spirit here the star daughters Starseed energy, chosen energy. So there's a group of you, soul tribe energy. See all these butterflies? There's soul tribe energy calling in these, um, whether you're male or female, call, calling in the divine, people that are on the same path. It's a group of you. I'm hearing that song, let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to figure out. How about love? Love, love? That's what I'm hearing. Excellence and success. Rapid development. Okay. So what I'm getting here with rapid development also is things are going to start unfolding quicker. You had a lot of dark forces that were possibly creating blockages, setbacks, and stalling you. And what I'm getting here now that this energy is basically dissipating is what I'm feeling here. Because those people that started that could definitely be in the energy of getting their own karma. So they're busy with, you know, things happening in their lives, experiencing, I saw 1313, experiencing deaths in their family or friendship circles or being taken out themselves, going to jail you know just getting ill all, all kinds of stuff and I feel like that's why right now is spirit moving you forward getting you away from all of that so the unseen you're not gonna see what God is doing to these people but you're going to feel it because your energy is going to feel more light more abundant more prosperous and you're going to feel a sense of like a weight has been lifted from you. Okay. So this is where you're going to be able to have like clear focus into you, into this continuation on your journey. That's when it, it just feels like really good. So please continue on this energy that you're in because this is very, very good for you. Okay, 18, the shining star. Look at that glow. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. And boy, are you shining. <laughs> it's such an attractive energy. That's what that whoever was there in the, in the past there or just at your coattails, but no longer standing on them because they're getting karma. Whoever those people were, this is exactly what they hated about you, is your light. It irritated their demons. It reflected back what they're not doing for themselves, what they're not allowing 
themselves to, you know, what they're not allowing within themselves to shine through, right? And you're having a glow up, you're doing this for your own, right? But also so that you can live your best potential, your highest potential, and being the muse and inspiration for others. You have every right to do things for yourself and to become the best version of yourself. But some people can't stand there because they're not doing that for themselves and they don't understand this energy. Although it lives within all of us. We all have the ability to ascend, to grow, and to allow our light to shine bright enough to illuminate our minds, activate our heart space, so that we reach our highest potential. And that's what I'm seeing here. You guys are having a major glow up. Just what a beautiful energy. And everybody sees it. You, you, can't, you can't hide the sun, right? And there's no hiding your light. It's just, it, it is what it is. It's been activated within you. And you're feeling very nice. This is such a beautiful, pure energy. Pure energy. Dun, dun. <laughs> it, it's really good. Some of you are in the process of this. Some of you, you know, we're all in different levels. Experiencing these moments within our life and growth at different levels. But essentially on the same sort of path. So, you know, take... Take your level at where you're at at this time. But, you know, for some of you, you could be just understanding how to love yourself. And this is like being able to foresee the path that you're on. Some of you are in this very energy at this particular moment. And that's what I'm seeing for you. Just a lot of growth. A lot of beauty. You're just exuding so like the epitome of embracing thyself okay we're gonna Hold on a second, guys. I can't even turn this off. Like, what the? Okay. I'm like. Okay. So you are like the embodiment, the epitome of what it takes to hone into your inner self and live that experience okay with the oracle being here you're also opening yourself to your spiritual gifts understanding who you are tapping in to your 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 all the gems that you have within yourself that you know your god-given gifts your god-given talents okay this is beautiful I, i'm loving this reading all right let's see what else Tall whites, uncertainty, distrust, and guarded. I have to say that for some of you, like, people saw you as out of this world. Like, who are you? Is this even real? Like, they were uncertain, they didn't trust you, and they were guarded when it came to you. They didn't know if you were an angel or a devil. Or if you, they see you as just out of this world. Like, who is this? And, you know, because not everybody on this earth is wanting to be tapped into their highest potential. Toxicity is overrated and it's so celebrated at the same time that it's sickening. That actually working on yourself and being in balance with your light and dark, because we have both is so like frowned upon or like unbelievable it's like what's their agenda and everybody is projecting this negativity or was onto you because 
they're in a in a toxic mindset or they're not in the energy of understanding their own power because they haven't taken the time to do this even though they can okay so working from their level of perception right and you know perception is all everything is all about perception but your mindset has everything to do with what you perceive in life and your perception of life is different because you are tapping into things and honing in on your inner power and discovering things as you move forward in this journey and these people cannot see that perception because they're not in the energy of the butterfly they're in the energy of the caterpillar right so here you are you're coming along with this sensual self your sensuality your light scaring people perhaps with your intuition you have very you're very honed into your intuition someone here that could be compassionate forgiving loving allowing themselves to go with the flow like they don't understand you I'm getting that song um, E.T. from um, uh, what's her name Carrie Perry Katy Perry you're so hypnotizing could you be an angel could you be a devil yeah that's what I'm getting you're from a whole nother world a different dimension you open my eyes and with master number here you are meant to open people's eyes it's like showing them that wow there is so much more to know about thyself so much more to learn about the world that we cannot see when the veil is no longer across our sight right our eyes you know with good intent but some of these people man they were so negative and you know these are people that are living in the shadows especially you know and I'm talking I'm not talking about everybody that's not ascended I'm talking and is in the caterpillar stage I'm talking about those who were in the shadow doing very dark things toxic people that have addictions or they have wounds that have affected them in such negative ways that they cannot live in the light they don't know what it is to live in that light at all like people that lack empathy those kind of people are the ones that were going against you big time here and again number 33 you you are mastering yourself here and you are meant to that was what was meant for you this lifetime it's in your divine contract and you are really like I'm hearing you're making spirit so proud and your father God whoever you choose whoever you believe that to be source okay like you're making your ancestors proud you're making spirit proud your guardian angels your family on the other side like they're watching you like surpass things supersede things 33 Merkaba movement long distance travel and excitement for some of you you will be going somewhere um, it, it'll be guided for you you'll understand it when it when it comes to you confirmation um, some of you will be traveling you could be just going on vacation but whatever this is travel is important to your growth as well it allows you to see life or learn from it in some which way shape or form this is going to be something exciting for you it's something like I'm telling you this change that is coming in this movement forward where you get rapid advancement here is just going to like you're gonna really feel a sense of freedom like if you feel like you're free now like you're really gonna feel this sense of 
freedom, more enlightenment. Like some of you are going, like, are being activated, ascending to another level because you are mastering yourself here. This is so beautiful. Look how connected you are. Look at all this lightning connected to this in the swirl here like there is something being completely activated within you and you know we speak of lightning so much power so much energy electricity there there's something big here and to fall under the oracle look at this a lot of green here heart activation for some of you like it's almost like you're going through something like a, a dimension some of you are are yeah some of you are ascending to a higher dimension spiritually consciously okay is what i'm getting here let's see what else number 18 so 19 we have 19 twice, 32. We also have we have 222 here, okay. And now we have number 18, which is adding up to nine. So we have 999, 999. First of all, that's like spirit all day with you. You are very protected, but also 999 means you will not lack anything. You will not go without okay artistic integrity and honesty see the octopus head this is symbolizing wisdom to me your chakras here in alignment okay you have integrity you're an honest being this is beautiful and if you if you weren't like spirit would know okay they know your heart they know your spirit and they know that you're genuine this is why like you're really allowing spirit to work through you and this is why you cannot fail here that's why success is here because you believe in something that you cannot see you believe in a higher power you believe that you, I mean like you're trusting so much in your guides in your path this, that it's almost like that's the only thing you can trust because of what you've been through right now okay because that hasn't failed you okay wow bottom of the deck we have air element philosophy discrimination and empathy mm-hmm number uh, adding up to number seven twenty five okay that's a divine number and it does have to do with spirituality some of you could have a life path number seven but we are in the year of the life path number seven so that could be significant here you people could see you as very philosophical you could be seen as very wise um, someone intriguing someone that um you know you're not a chit chatter <laughs> that's for sure this is not just chit chatter energy you are someone that has very deep conversations and you appreciate those whom you could have these deep conversations with you appreciate um learning from others here as well um you you really do appreciate the mind and any type of self-development also that would be the type of person that you would want in your life someone that you can grow with learn with but also learn from each other someone that is not in their ego you know wanting to win at all costs or thinking that you're better than them or feeling like they're in competi competition with you that's not something that you care for that's not a loving balanced caring connection that's just someone that's going to bring you drama and headaches um and you know that you will face a lot of discrimination here because of this energy that you're in you understand that okay 
but either way you're not going to dim your light for anyone you understand that you're here for a purpose and it has nothing to do with any haters or you going up against them in any way just simply by shining your light and being your true authentic self that shouldn't be a threat for anyone but some, unfortunately those low vibrational people that live in their shadow always take it personal and then they want to go up against you for no reason that's why they end up getting bad karma because you're not going up against anyone in a negative way you're simply being you working on you and experiencing life as you continue on your spiritual path and journey that's it like you're not here to trip anybody up so that's why they get such bad karma also aside from you being you know a chosen a light worker being here for a divine purpose it's because they go up against you for no valid reason at all so let's see what else here I'll be using the modern love tarot tell you what what a beautiful world it would be if everyone really honed in on their highest potential and allowed the light to really shine through to illuminate a lot of things and help them to activate their heart space so they can heal it, it'd be a totally different world <laughs> we have the knight of wands okay this is giving me free spirited going after your passions being excited about moving forward all right and and you know with uncertainty and distrust and being guarded this could also be the struggle of moving forward at at some point here but you knew you had to take the journey anyways right because you know a lot of times we we struggle we don't just throw our hands up and say all right spirit just guide me a lot of times Towards the beginning of our ascension, we struggle with that. It's like, I don't know if I can trust this path. You know, I'm a little uncertain here. I don't know. So, you know, we're a little bit guarded because we don't, we have no idea of what's coming, right? It's the path less traveled. It's the unknown path. We, we simply just go by faith. And, you know, life is unpredictable. So... We can't know every single step or every single road that we're taking. Sometimes it's just spontaneous and, you know, it's just like, all right, let's see where it leads. And I feel like for some of you, you know, at first it could feel a little scary, you know. It's like going into a dark hole with no bars anywhere for you to hang on to just you with the simple trust that you will get to the other side and not fall through a deeper hole or <laughs> bump into anything that's going to hurt you or or trust that nothing dark is going to come at you you know it's kind of like that right but i feel like you guys definitely overcame that and you know you're very free spirited it's you know you keep moving forward with the knight of wands here at the end of the day and then we have the king of wands okay that's the leadership energy that I was feeling as well knight of wands king of wands like a lot of ambition a lot of passion like going after just what it is you need to go after with vigor with confidence okay with strength I mean beautiful whether you're male or female okay a lot of you could also be you know because this is mastery right 33 so working from your masculine and feminine energy as well okay that's a good balance and that's number 22 which is duality and that has to do with balance as well 
I love it. Four of Wands. Look at that. Stability. Okay. Right under artistic integrity and honesty. Okay. See how it says dance here? The star daughters dance and they're dancing. A dance, sing and play with my sisters. I dance, sing and play with my sisters at sunset. With success, excellence, and rapid development. <laughs> I just heard, meet me at the altar. <laughs> there could be someone on this very journey that you are meeting in this energy at this particular time. Okay? Someone could be at your coattails because I said that earlier, but in their own journey meaning okay because they're they're taking that path but this is somebody that's very um determined self-determined so that's beautiful that's for some of you so they're reaching the same goal within their own life nice it see it's nice to see that you know you're not you're not alone you will meet someone here Okay, so there's going to be some surprises coming for you guys. Definitely. That's beautiful. Nine of Swords. Yeah, that's the uncertainty, the anxiety the, to, of going towards the unknown path. All right. <laughs> okay, that could, that could be an indication of where you were or, or somebody that's actually coming towards you that I see here. Okay. It could be a little bit of both. So, so wherever you were somebody's actually going through that same energy so somebody's mirroring you here Let's see what else three of cups yeah this is this is definitely someone <laughs> now this king of wands this is like the fun side charming side of someone this could be someone that used to party right this could have been you as well Okay, but I feel like there's somebody here that you're going to meet that really kind of mirrors this energy um, of like things that you have been through, the types of people that you were before you like raised your vibration, the experiences that you've had. Because I see pe two people here that were pretty fun to be around. Um, you know, you could have liked to go out, have a few drinks and... Um, be the life of the party um, when you were in a lower vibration and but you still haven't lost that that sense of spirit right even if you're not like drinking or you know eating all the wrong foods and stuff like that you still haven't lost that charm that charisma it, it's like they're still you're able to to charm people, to make them laugh, to make them smile. And I see that here. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I just see something to celebrate. Celebrating yourself as well. Having a good time. Like, this is good times. Three of Cups is good times. This could also be, like I said, spirit celebrating you. For really embracing yourself and loving yourself. And discovering yourself on a whole new level. Queen of Swords. So that's air again. So you can have this aspected in your chart. Or you could be an air sign. So take it how it resonates. But the Queen of Swords is someone wise. Someone that has been through some pretty rough um, situations that caused major heartbreaks. The Queen of Swords cuts off things that don't serve her of course in the right energy and you are in the right energy um you know this is wisdom like i said some of you are being initiated she has the crown here you've been through a lot of darkness but that is when you where you learned your hardest lessons okay you've been in the in the middle of other people's shadow because <laughs> i saw that there in the midst of it all um but still you were you were able to learn from that 
and you were able to discern and you were able to stay logical enough to cut people out that really don't deserve your energy or your presence or or a spot in your life okay and that's part of the journey too is understanding how to create boundaries with certain people that only cause drama and havoc for you because not everybody can go with you into this you know new energy new vibration they're not going to understand that they're just going to get triggered by it and you're trying to manifest your soul tribe people alike people that bring joy and happiness into your life not their you know shadow aspect that is unhealed or like too dark to even entertain because eventually those people would come up against you and that's not something you want so I see stability I see wisdom I mean and still being honest and and having that integrity still remaining happy okay within your soul and still bringing that sense of like your inner child but like healed is what I'm seeing here yeah there's the world look at that coming full circle that's beautiful to end with the world card this is also great karma okay the world is also depicted as Saturn and Saturn could bring you great karma or bad karma and because you have integrity and you're honest and you're compassionate and you're grateful you are being granted really good karma because Saturn could be really restrictive when you do things from your shadow and make choices and decisions that are affecting others especially their free will um, yeah Saturn will restrict your ass <laughs> with that karma and it lasts it, it's like slow and painful but for you you're coming full circle and what you're about to experience this next go round is gonna be beautiful I love that I love that it, it just like right there on the world beautiful yeah and things are starting to accelerate that's the uh, rapid development here into the ten of cups wow and the nine of cups look at that wish complete wish fulfillment you know this is like for a lot of you guys you have felt so stuck for so long or like things are moving so slow when it comes to your happiness but all of a sudden you're gonna see that there's gonna be a shift here okay that all of a sudden it's gonna show up I see the person showing up eventually right here now you are gonna be wise about this choice and decision you are gonna analyze this person I could see it but I see this person going through <laughs> their transformation whoever you're meeting <laughs> at some point here yeah this is somebody you're gonna be able to work with you see his little smile there okay this this could be somewhat this is a charmer for sure but you don't see this coming okay spirit is not showing you this yeah you see Queen of Pentacles with the hermit like this is like wisdom self nurturing self worth taking care of yourself you know and you've been doing it in silence um, a lot of you um, work with herbs or natural remedies that could be a, like a business as well for some of you you know you've just been quiet yeah <laughs> you got even the devil reflecting <laughs> the devil with the wheel of fortune and the four of swords you got these people in the past like stumped they're like how the fuck what the fuck yeah this could be people you worked with eight of pentacles 
But for some of you, they're they're watching like you like just enjoying your life. You know what I mean? And do it, yeah. The hierophant, they see you, like they see you. They finally see who you are. Yep, Ace of Swords. You're tapping in also to some of you could resonate with Egyptian times and the wisdom that they had. Okay, they were awakened. And some of you are just tapping into um, this knowledge, okay? Two of Wands. You're going to be learning so much more. Yeah, Page of Swords. People are watching. Like, they are watching from a distance. Three of Wands. But right here, whoever is coming towards you, I see him right here. See her, him or her. Okay? It's a mystery. This is a fun person. Light-hearted. Oh my goodness. A breath of fresh air. They're also so um, ambitious and creative. Um, they could be very attractive for some of you. It doesn't have to be. But what's more attractive? What, what I see more of the attraction is their soul, their spirit. All right. You know, they're a little wary of, of um, this path they're on themselves. I feel like you're a little more evolved, a little more ascended. But this person is, um, they're definitely mastering themselves as well. Okay. You see how they have, like, this papers. It's almost like spirit is giving them signs and synchronicities. And um, this could be somebody that's already watching you or somebody that you're just going to meet later on your journey here. And, you know, maybe they don't see you either. But I feel like they're on the same path as you are. Beautiful. For some of you, of course, if you resonate with your twin being on their path, or at least, you know, looking at themselves in that way, then that's who you're going to meet here with the Four of Wands. But for others of you, where, you know, your twin is still in the shadow, and, and they've been there for, like, a long time, and you don't see this person changing then I feel like you are you could be meeting a high-level soulmate, okay? And yeah, I see marriage here as well. Okay, this could be a spiritual union that I'm seeing here. So let's see what else here. I'm going to get my Dimensions Oracle deck here. Beautiful reading. One more shuffle. Yeah, passing through. <laughs> Ready for the next adventure. Yes, I definitely see that when it comes to you guys. And I definitely see also somebody going through transformation. Okay, somebody is, you could have been amused for somebody here too. Okay, so take it how it resonates. But a lot of you, this is you. Okay, coming out of that dark time and stepping into a different dimension. A, you know, or moving forward past this into your next adventure. Yeah, look at that. High Priestess, Divine Knowledge illumination and wisdom yes okay definitely tapping in to that you know the information from the cosmos yeah you can see behind the veil you are a high priestess okay that's beautiful you have divine knowledge you're definitely um, awakened here and somebody's on that same journey. I just see it. Yeah. Look at that. Shining moment. Spotlight and admiration. Yeah. Look at that. You're getting to your shining moment. That's where you're headed. Some of you it's marriage. Some of you it's like you're going to be seen. For your wisdom. 
for your creativity, for what you truly bring to the table, for your gifts, whether spiritual or, you know, musical, however, okay, I see that, and there's somebody there, I'm telling you, yeah, out of reach, free, and getaway, exactly, that's the journey, becoming out of reach from all these people that wanted to trap you, keep you stuck, manipulate your energy, and I also see somebody here leaving a, leaving a very dark uh, past behind, or you know, a a path where they a place where they were surrounded by darkness. Yeah, look at this past life lover karma clearing unfinished business. So for some of you, you met someone here where you had um. You had to clear some sort of karma here. There was unfinished business. Now, for some of you, this energy is still surrounding you. So, before you get to, like, this energy, for some of you, you could be right here mastering yourself and allowing spirit, of course, to go with the flow. But there's somebody in your energy here. Okay? So, for some of you, it could be someone that was in that low vibrational energy where it was all about, you know, the girls or the guys or being seen, the ego, and stuff like that. Okay. For some of you, you met like a past life karmic. Or you had karma clearing with your counterpart, your divine counterpart. And there's still some unfinished business there. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's peeping and creeping. And it could most definitely be that person giving you the evil eye. Okay, because some of you are surpassing someone here and leaving them behind because they're still in a in a dark space. Okay, so that's why I see unfinished business here. It's almost like someone's not done with you yet. They're still keeping tabs on you, but you're moving forward. You were giving the light to move forward. Yeah. We have spark curiosity or crush. Okay. There could be someone that sparked your interest. Or this is someone looking at you that you don't see coming. Okay. We have a dolphin back here. You may not see this person coming. But dolphins represent divine love. Beautiful. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. You're setting boundaries with whoever this is that you met. Exactly. That... That dark energy that we were looking at towards the beginning, we have dark cupid karmic soul ties. That's what I just said. Setting boundaries, balanced and empowered. That's you. And they were doing spell work. Return to sender, misfortune and bad luck. Why? Because you're chosen. Psychic abilities unique and misunderstood. That's why this backfires. So, hmm, somebody's going to have a lot of bad luck with that mirror being shattered here. And it's somebody that's still peeping and creeping that you said you said boundaries to, um, too. This could have been some a playboy energy or playgirl energy, someone that sleeps around. They play with people's emotions. They don't care about their own. Uh, they don't see their self worth. That kind of energy I see here. Okay. Yeah. Change, adapting, and environment. Yeah, there's a lot of change. That has been going on in your life. And look at that. Earth Angel. Universal Justice, Truth, and Restoration. That's exactly what you're here for. To uncover truth. Full circle with that number 12 being there. And again, lightning. Your energy like strikes. When you say something, it hits a chord. And it could definitely trigger some people. But you are here to speak your truth. And the only... Demons you're gonna irritate are those that are in their deep in their shadow, okay? Rising from the ashes reborn stronger and better than before New chapter endings and breakups There you go full circle Yeah, shadow work pain release Entrapment karmic lessons there could be someone here like I said that's on the same path Going through their own lessons some of you are child prodigies, 
like you learned at a very like you just came here like with knowledge already and you could be very quick at learning new things okay imaginative dreamer extraordinarily talented that's for some of you and some of you this could be a child you're bringing into the world with incoming surprises the unexpected whoever this child is very special that's for some of you others of you is whoever's coming through this portal and into your life this person is very special as well extraordinarily talented okay yeah I told you they're looking right now they went through that darkness already faith in the unknown one is not like the other so this person this is the nervous person looking at this doorway right now that's the door they need to choose is for their own good their highest good so yeah for some of you they could have a child that is a child prodigy so take it how it resonates but there is a child prodigy here yeah head in the clouds absent and distant with in tune with thyself free authentic and content mindfulness meditation yeah there's definitely somebody here working on themselves here so that's really good I love that energy let's see what else here before I get these oh yeah let's get these just get three cards spirit before I let go one more shuffle Mount Shasta that's in California it's known to be a very spiritual place actually known to be like the have like the presence the energy of source itself like a they think it is like the heart of where source is so this could be the place that you're traveling to for some of you you this may like come up it's a very small town in California this may come up I'm not sure or this is a place you have wanted to visit this could be a place where spirit is guiding you towards something about the energy here okay and that's net ready for the next adventure here now for some of you somebody could have lived in California and they're moving from California or this is you radical expansion definitely okay with that dragon there see how she's right here her heart is on her chest right there and she looks like she's orchestrating or she just has like you see look at this this dragon is coming out of her chest radical expansion this is like powerful energy this is also um, a power wisdom so much expansion here like freeing yourself it, it's like yeah it, it's almost like um, it's like a rebirth kind of like shedding old skin and regenerating becoming a new but like almost like you're embodying a whole new skin a whole new energy it's powerful too trust your innocence oh beautiful trust your innocence very nice 54 could be significant 40 could be significant 37 could be significant this is adding up to nine 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 definitely trust your innocence beautiful high heart chakra for some of you your heart chakra I don't know if this happens to you guys I know that for me 
I don't think I've ever felt my heart so like opened before like I could be listening to a song and it, it it just hits me just right like my heart feels like it's gonna explode out of my chest and I'm going to have this like super cry out <laughs> but it's it's like because it's so beautiful or, or it just hits my heart a certain way and it just makes me so emotional and I'm not somebody that gets very emotional but you you can just it, it if you tap it tap my heart the right way like whoa and I was feeling that energy the other day and I was just like oh my god like my heart feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest it's like <laughs> of emotion of like but because of what I was hearing was so beautiful this person that was singing I was just like oh my god it's you know sometimes it could be a, a as simple as a commercial or or you know one of those videos you see on 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 social media it just hits you a certain way yeah healing that heart space healing that heart space especially from that um, karmic soulmate there I know that wasn't easy, but it's almost like that. that's what it took, like, you know what I mean? And I'm hearing that song, cause I'm all cried out over you, all cried out there, yeah, all alone on a Sunday morning, outside of here the rain is falling. Inside I'm slowly dying, but the rain will hide my crying, 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 and you, don't you know my tears will burn the pillow, set this place on fire cause I'm tired of your lies. All I needed was a simple hello. Yeah, I can go on and on with that song. But yeah, you definitely went through some pain. But you took that pain, you decided to heal, and it activated you in such a way. You went through your shadow work here for sure. And you're wiser than ever before. Um and honing into your own power and I just feel that is so beautiful and excuse me if I didn't sing that right also my voice is raspy um, but I had to give you a little bit of that you know sometimes people don't like my singing they're like oh maybe just write the name of the song but you know it has to do with the reading whether I sing it right or not or they like my voice or not <laughs> when I feel that energy it's almost like I have to express it so you know it is what it is yeah unique gifts you have unique spiritual gifts or unique gifts when it comes to what you do what you play you know your art your music your instruments your dance moves but trust your innocence because it is there before all the traumas and all the darkness was upon us that li that our gifts lie it is there you know sometimes we drop things like you know maybe you you were into singing or you were into playing certain instruments or you used to love drawing and then the traumas kind of took over the shadow kind of you know was hovering over your life and like your innocence could have been tampered with as well as a child and it it kind of stumped you it didn't allow you to fully blossom naturally as a child without traumas would um, you know even though we go we all go through one thing or another and it's almost like it could have made you even shy about your gifts or not wanting to pursue them because you have a bigger you know, or you had bigger demons to deal with within yourself 
or that were you know trying to keep you small whether that was within you or with surround you know by the people that were surrounding you and it's almost like your gifts took a back seat but you're you're getting back to who you are at the core and what it was you loved to do and discovering new gifts at the same time so to be in that space where you can finally like do that for yourself without the presence of negativity or destruction or chaos is such a, a breath of fresh air for you where you can get creative you know after kind of relearning and like reteaching yourself <laughs> you know what you came here for who you are and all of that it, it's like you completely you are completely rebuilding yourself because you trust in a higher power because now you trust in who you're becoming and understanding who that is like in this energy nothing is stopping you nothing sometimes of course we are our worst enemy and we get in our own way but I feel like you are gaining so much control over your life without controlling the wheel and the outcome of your life and that is hard for people to do throat chakra and yeah I'm feeling the rasp in my throat right now so I'm <laughs> that's a good thing that I came on express your truth number seven and this is divine truth with the butterfly, the wings. Um, yeah, you are meant to express it through any creative means. Doesn't have to be just through your voice. It could be through singing, speaking, but it could be through art, through music, through whatever it is that um, you're tapping back into, whatever gifts that you have. Speak it. Let it be heard. Let it be seen. It's your moment. You will have that moment. Beautiful. All right. Let's get you a few of these spiritual gift cards. Three cards. Wild child, the wild rebellious side of you keeps people on a roller coaster. You're not afraid to break the rules and rebel against authority to achieve your goals. There you go. People see you as a wild child. They could see you as the fool, right? The fool is looked at. The fool is not conventional. The fool is someone that takes risks. And yes, to others that may look foolish, to those who don't take risk and just go with the status quo. But you're not that. You are a wild child. You are a mystic, definitely. You look for the deeper meaning in life. You go the opposite direction. But you find yourself in extraordinary places. You discover extraordinary things. And you have extraordinary experiences or you will beautiful intelligence you're able to stimulate a person's mind fusing sexuality which we have here sensuality with intelligence to achieve your goals Oof. there you go that is a <laughs> that's a really good energy so you are sensual beautiful intelligent and wild <laughs> very nice and then we have water you are deeply connected to water and the spirits that dwell within it water magic suits you to conjure up love spells emotional healing or any other matters of the heart of course I wouldn't recommend doing love spells um, because then you're messing with someone's free will but 
water magic for emotional healing or any other matters of the heart that's beautiful a lot of spiritual baths going by water sitting by water swimming in water this is very good for you cleansing your energy you know playing in water it, it very good for you okay and we have clairsentience okay at the bottom of the deck it says you have the ability to feel deeply into situations yeah what was I talking about the heart space places or people sensing something beyond the physical realm look at that so you have the ability to feel deeply into situations places or people sensing something beyond the physical realm some of you can sense um, spirits or emotions that are lingering within spaces so if you went to a house let's say where somebody passed away you could probably feel the presence or the energy that was there I know that sometimes um, I know I, that happens to my mother um, when I was doing real estate um, my mother we came with me once to an open house and a lady had passed away there and all of a sudden she started crying and it's because she was feeling that presence of that lady and then afterwards like I felt it but she felt it even stronger and she's like I gotta get out of here she doesn't like to tap into those things <laughs> for me I'm like you know it's an experience but for her it's she doesn't like um, sitting in that energy you know because she's not really focused on those gifts which I know that she has but she doesn't you know she doesn't like that <laughs> but um yeah so it, it, for some of you also um, I know for me I've been to the like the cemetery before and have felt like really deep like sober so, like energy like somber like that almost makes you want to burst into tears kind of energy and it's just like these spirits you you sense it okay clairsentience all right guys that's for some of you so some of you are tapping into your gifts or you know you have them and um, be prepared for a lot of these spiritual gifts for some of you to be more attuned um, especially as you continue to heal and meditate and all of that um, you're going to discover maybe some new ones as well. I know throughout my journey I've been discovering quite a few different gifts. Um, you know, and I think it's amazing because we all have spiritual gifts. It's just a matter of tapping in. But it can be scary too. Um, you just got to know that you're protected and you got to trust in your gifts um, but you know everything takes time all right guys this was a beautiful reading thank you for allowing me to tap into this beautiful energy for whoever this resonates I wish you the best I see really good things for you and it, it's I'm telling you it's gonna be like a switch all of a sudden like I mean the ten of cups with the knight of swords something is coming in very quickly all of a sudden it just de it depends where on the journey you're at because like I said we're all on different um, levels on the journey so take it how it resonates for you these readings are timeless so whenever you watch this is meant for you um, yeah alright let me know in the comments if anybody resonates and I wish you the best peace